Dr. Seller here, and within the last few months, I had a Division One coach, once again, I'm not going to say who it is, I had a Division One coach tell me that what they've learned about the trap play is that it actually works better than for a different reason for what it was intended. I'm going to show you how right now. Okay, so trap. The whole reason Paul Johnson would run trap is if number one was taking the quarterback. He was coming up the field, and they would trap into the void. So basically, if he's not taking the dive, they basically were just going to shove him out and then put the B back where he wasn't. So tackle would block, he veered to the backer, guards down, centers back. You got the backside tackle scooping. You got the guard trapping. The receivers blocked the safeties, the eight twirls, and there's a place that safety blocks the run support. Quarterback opens up like triple left. B-back takes the ball, bends back, and that's that. That was the whole reason why they ran trap. It was basically to trap the void that's created when number one takes the quarterback. But what they learned, this school and this coach told me this, and once again, I'm not going to say for which school, but it's one of the Division One triple option schools said, we found out that when number one took the B back, trap worked better. Interesting. And here's what he told me the reason was. He said when the mic runs out to take the quarterback or the pitch, and the guard would trap a moving number one, a number one who was moving toward the center, and they would trap him, the B back would pop through, and because the mic wasn't there, it hits. And that is what he said changed their trap play. Is they started running it when number one took the V-back. So the guard traps this moving number one. Now, you're afraid he's going to wrong arm and spill it, he says, but that's not necessarily the case because he's just trying to take the knife. And the V-back is the guy with the ball. Of course, he's getting down the other side and bending. But he says, when you do that, the mic's got to run over the top to take the quarterback or the pitch. And he says, when that happens, he goes, it doesn't always look pretty. But when you pop it, there's nobody there. And he said, we learned that the trap works better when number one is taking the B-back. So they started trapping in that situation, and they popped a lot of big plays. So this is how traps become a holistic play. Paul Johnson invented it so that you would trap number one when he took the quarterback because you trapped to the void. Another school learned that if number one is taking the B back and you trap him, it's going to pop because the mic has to run over the top to play the quarterback or the pitch. So trap has become a holistic play. So it's something to consider for 2022 about the trap. The trap has become an all-encompassing holistic concept. Coaches, if you want to run Army, Air Force, and Navy's offense the right way in the first time, give me a call. My number is on the thumbnail of this video, so is my website. Triple Option Football Academy Camps. And the Triple Option Football Academy is going to help you install Army, Navy, and Air Force's modern-day triple option offense the right way in the first time. I'm filling up right around the Memorial Day area. I've got a couple spots left in late June. I'm starting to fill up a little bit in July. So give me a call, and I'll see you in the next video.